here in the middle of Lentau, mm -hmm. on top of mountain. How is this in Allah's name related to Islam and Dawah? SubhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, in many places in the Quran, mentioned to us the uh, Whatever Allah has created is His creation. And He is also asking us when we see nature to praise Him. So this particular place is one of the places that I've come here to for many years. I memorize the Quran. I remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I praise him for it, and I try to embody right. his work. Did you say that there's like a connection between the creator and the creation, and the more you get closer to the creation, you could know the creator? Exactly, exactly. This is very beautiful. You think, you think that people, one of the things I was thinking the other day is that of the atheism being on the rise, and people not believing in Allah, uh, do you think there's a correlation between people being away from nature, living more in, you know, um, urban cities, high rises, nine to yeah. five cars, mobile phones, no connection to creation? Yes, yes. It's become a, it's basically the world has become a mechanical world, a digital world. And they, even people within the same house, they're SMSing to each other, dinner is ready. <laughs> he has husband and wife and children and parents. Uh, very little time is spent in the nature and also uh, we see the rise of mental problems that people have. A lot of, lot of people, uh, even in Muslim countries. I was just talking about this the other day. What is, yeah, I made a lecture on so this. So what, uh, what is your take on it? Well, I think um, definitely when we look at, as you said, the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, see, like when he gives this ayat, I know a lot of people talk about science and, you know, they become very, very intellectual and analyze analyzing the Quran. But it's, it's, I think it's just quite basic, right? Allah, when when someone asks you, how do you know Islam is the truth, right? You just say, just look around you. <laughs> Isn't it? Because that's that's what the ayat want you to do. They want to make tadabbur and tafakkur. Mm. Because if you look at this water, like where is it coming from? It has a source. Okay, so you look at human beings, where they come from? They have a source. Mm. Someone created it. There, there's, a, you know, someone that's, I mean, everything points towards that. And that's why Allah Santa is always, he doesn't say, okay, because I said so, I just like that. No, it's, look at this, look at that. You know, what I want to know, what brought you, what, what I want to know, what actually brought you to this point? Because you were not a Muslim. You I was not a Muslim, yeah. How did I convert it? Uh, 17 years ago now, almost, almost 17 years ago. But um, I was a uh, I was a nature child. Like I, I would go oh. out in nature a lot. Yeah, I mean I remember my father punishing me for spending too much time in the forest. A specific one I remember because he made me sit on on the on this door ledge with my knees for hours because I was building a, a tree house somewhere in the forest. But I was out as opposed to when we look today. At, you know, I mean, in, I'm in education. I see our kids and our students they're all inside right so I think when I when Islam was presented to me it, it, was, it was just quite easy for me to understand these points right and to, to believe and when I internalize Islam I think that's something that you and I have in common because we've also come to Islam I think we see the value as opposed to just inheriting the faith isn't that it? is very true, and perhaps, maybe I think the same with both of us, is that why you became so anxious to spread it's Islam, right. yeah. and you're so active in Romania, this is your back, and you're, you're active everywhere, basically, you live in Malaysia now, but you're, 90% of your, your dabble is to your own people, yeah. is it because you were, you were someplace outside of Islam, you come and in Islam, you see the value of Islam, and then you jump into it, you give, devote your whole life to this. Yeah, I think it's, it's such a such a big blessing, right? And the beautiful thing is you don't want to share. I mean, you don't want to not share. Not share. Yeah, not share, right? When you see people, let's say you have money or something, right? People are always calculating, right? And alhamdulillah, we give people, mm -hmm. right? The Muslims are encouraged to give. And we're now in the 10 days of the Hijrah. People yes. should do good deeds, right? But 
even the zakah, when you look at it, Allah says, spend of what we have given you. You know? So, Beautiful, yeah. yeah, like it doesn't say spend it all. You mm -hmm. just send some of it. And then when we look at it, it's 2.5 or depending 5 or 10% if it's agriculture. So Allah is not asking a lot, right? Because, you know, like human beings, they're like, oh, you know, I need to make sure I have for rent, for this, we calculate. And then we give. And, but with Islam, it's like this, this amazing thing that when you spend more, you get more, right? It's like the ROI, the return on investment is just is Your huge. investment is giving the knowledge. Yeah. Of Islam. But, but that's the thing. You're just like, you're so determined to, to just, and so excited, like motivated to just dedicate your life because you feel it. I think, Islam, so many times I've been accused of, you know, being like, oh, you're brainwashing people, or you're trying <laughs> to get people to this, right? And when you think about it, you're like, no, you just want others to feel the way you do. Just to have, and the Prophet says, halawat al-Iman. And you're willing to give your life for it. You're willing, willing to, give, to give, like you're devoted your life. You think of nothing more important than this. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. I, I feel that. Halawat al-Iman, right? It's like the sweetness of faith. And when right. you know, subhanAllah, you know, you find people are confused. They don't know what's going on. I don't know. May Allah about. protect you. May Allah um, reward you. May Allah give you a true. lot of strength in doing Amen. what you're doing Amen. and help us both do uh, the kind of good work. You know, I remember when I was practicing Christianity, uh, one of the words of Jesus that I never forget, he said, when it came to spreading the word of God, he said, many are called, but only a few yeah. are chosen. chosen. I've met so many people say, yeah, I like to do Islamic law. Yeah. But what are you willing to give up like in order to do? Are you chosen? Mm -hmm. A person would know if they're chosen. They really would. Nobody has to tell them. They know if they're chosen. In fact, when they're chosen, they have no choice in the matter. You, you don't think, should it. I do this? Should I go there? Should I talk with this person? No, you don't think about it. It's just there. Mm -hmm. So, alhamdulillah, I feel perhaps maybe we both <laughs> are maybe among you know, the people that are and, really... And the other thing is also, the, your objective in life becomes so much, like you have purpose, you know? Absolutely. And I think Absolutely. that's what a lot of people, and they miss in life, purpose. But not everyone, as you said, has to be a a, a guy who's going to do what we're doing, others do, you know? But there's always something that you can do for Allah. And everyone has a specific skill. But if they just look at that and say, hey, I think I can use this for Allah. You don't have to be a YouTuber or Facebook. Yes, yes, and yes. People think, oh, I want to do dawah. I want to have a YouTuber. It's not like that. There's there's so much work actually that goes in the background. Absolutely. So many amazing people that don't get noticed on, you know, but they do so much work. But you have to be willing to. That's the thing, the willingness. I tell people, if you, if people say, I don't know what to do. I said, you're online, you're communicating with me, right? If you're online, you have the mobile in your hand, you're writing, then you can do you something can do about something. Islam. You can do something to reach out to somebody. You can do something. It is the matter of the willingness. And the thing that you mentioned, having a higher purpose, is when we have higher purpose, all the troubles of life become small. Mm. It's not as significant right. anymore because you're not driven by the trouble because you have higher goal. Mm. Put your attention on the higher goal. Everything else becomes small. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide us, Amen. all of us, to the straight path. Amen. And may Allah bless everyone in this blessed day of Zul Hajjah. <laughs> and accept our deeds. Amen. 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 Amen.